Okay, I have a new install here of Windows Server 2008 R2, and the goal is to turn this into a mail server. Um, so we're going to do uh, first things first. I've uh, activated Windows, I've set up the time, I've configured networking, um, and I've downloaded and installed updates. So now it's time to add some roles. So I'm going to click Add Roles, and I'll just do that right here. And I'll hit next. And the first thing I'm going to need to add, add is um, Active Directory. Um, and to add Active Directory domain services, I'm going to need uh, .NET Framework. So that's fine. Add required features. All right. And hit next. And hit next. And hit install. So um, I'm installing. Um, Active Directory Domain Services, um, .NET is also being, the .NET framework is also being installed. Afterwards, I'm going to install DNS, and I'm going to, um, I'm going to upgrade the server to a domain controller. Okay, Active Directory Domain Services was installed, and so is .NET framework, so, um, and then it says right here, close this wizard and launch Active Directory Domain Services Installation Wizard DC Promo. So that's what we're going to need to turn this into a domain controller. So I'll hit close. And then I'm in a remote connection right now. I'm going to go to start and run DC Promo right here. DC Promo. Hit enter. Okay, let's take a look at this. This is the Active Directory Domain Services Installation Wizard. I'll hit Next. Next. I'm going to create a new forest for this. I'm not going to add this domain controller into an existing domain server structure or new f into an existing forest. So I'll hit Next. And I'm going to give it a name, Dan's games.com and I'll hit next okay and now I need to set the um, functional level of the forest uh, I don't have any Windows Server 2003 uh, 2003 server on my network so I'm gonna make the functional level a minimum of 2008 and so I'll hit next and next and now we're going to examine DNS and to run Active Directory you need to have a DNS server so um, and also if it's the first domain controller in the forest which it is it's also going to need to be a gl global catalog server and that will happen by default so I'll just hit next and it's going to it tells me that uh, it can't figure out a delegation with an existing DNS structure I'm going to configure the DNS specifics for the domain dansgames.com afterwards. So do I want to continue? Yes. And I'm going to accept the defaults. And I'm going to make a um, secondary password here. Okay, that looks good. And We'll hit next, and now the installation is running. Okay, so Active Directory Domain Services um, is being written. You can see Group Policy Management Console. It's walking me through all of the steps. Okay, the Active Directory Domain Services installation wizard finished, so I'm going to click Finish and I'm going to need to restart the server for um, for this to take effect so I'll restart now okay I restarted the Windows Server 2008 R2 and I'm on my way to installing Exchange Server 2010 um, what I'm gonna need to do though is I'm gonna take a look at a uh, pre-installation checklist that I made it's on my website danscourses.com under the Windows Exchange Server section and you can see here the um, some checklist of some of the things that I'm going to make sure that need to be installed. 
Active Directory, yes. DNS, yes. I've uh, upgraded the server to a domain controller using DC Promo. We added the .NET framework. I believe that the MMC and the Windows PowerShell are installed by default when we installed the Windows Server. So now what I need to do is I need to add Microsoft IIS and the www publishing services the web server and I need to make sure that um, XML 6.0 is installed so but let's let's add that role to the server so what I'll do is I'll click um, and I like this initial configuration dialog but you can also use the server manager so I'll just show you that the server manager is useful so we'll open the server manager and we'll go to roles and we'll click add roles and we'll go next and what we want to install is web server IIS so we'll click on that we'll hit next hit next again and then we're going to see if there's anything else that we want to add along with it for instance um, application development do I want to have uh, want to be a developer and use ASP.NET or uh, .NET extensibility, CGI, all that stuff. Let's just check mark it. Security, I'm going to select the security options. Okay. And it says uh, cancel. I want to add this, not remove it. So let's just click add. All right. All right, and I'm also going to add the IIS 6 management compatibility and hostable web core. What's this? Uh, I don't think I need that, but I will take the IIS management scripts and tools and the management service, and we'll hit next and install. And so now the web server IIS is installing and we need to have this installed once again for Exchange Server to install and to function correctly. Okay, the web server IIS installation was successful so I'll hit close. Under roles here you can see that I have some warnings, no failures, and that's fine. I can overlook, get a quick idea for what some of these are, and I can address those later as well. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look once again at this web page and it says the other thing I need to do is turn on TCP port sharing service um, net TCP port sharing service so that's under services so what I'll do is, is I'll go to start and I'll type services and Okay, so here's the services window, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down to N and look for Net TCP Port Sharing Service. There it is. I'll double click on it, and I'll change it from disabled to automatic. Apply it, and then I'll start it. Okay, so now that that's been started, I can close this window. I can proceed now with my installation of Exchange Server. 